true born shanty boys wherever you may be. Come sit ye on the deacon's seat and listen unto me. I'll sing the jam on Jerry's Rock and a hero you should know. The bravest of all shanty boys of form and young Monroe. T'was on a Sunday morning ere daylight did appear. The logs were piling mountain high, we could not keep them clear. Cheer up, cheer up, my rivermen, relieve your hearts of woe. We'll break the jam on Jerry's Rock, cried our foreman, young Monroe. Now some of them were willing, while others hid from sight. To break a jam on Sunday, they did not think it right. Till six of our brave shanty boys did volunteer to go. And break the jam on Jerry's Rock with our foreman, young Monroe. They had not picked off many logs till Monroe to them did say, I must send you back up to drive my boys, for the jam will soon give way. Alone he freed the key log then, and when the jam did go, it carried away on the boiling flood our foreman, young Monroe. Now when the boys came up at camp, the news they came to hear. In search of his dead body, down the river they did steer. And there they found to their surprise, their sorrow, grief, and woe. All bruised and mangled on the beach, lay the corpse of young Monroe. They picked him up most tenderly, smoothed down his raven hair. There was one among the watchers whose cries did rend the air. The fairest lass of Saginaw let tears of anguish flow, but her moans and cries could not awake her true love, young Monroe. The Mrs. Clark, a widow, lived by the riverside. This was her only daughter, Monroe's intended bride. So the wages of her perished love, the boss to her did pay, and a gift of gold was sent to her by the shanty boys next day. When she received the money, she thanked them tearfully. But it was not her portion long on the earth to be. For it was just six weeks or so when she was called to go. And the shanty boys laid her to rest by the side of young Monroe. They decked the graves most decently, t'was on the 4th of May. Come all ye true born shanty boys, and for a comrade pray, engraven on a hemlock tree, which by the beach did grow, are the name and date of the mournful fate of the foreman young Monroe.